Hey there, happy Sunday. I thought I would come to you today with an excerpt from The Diary of a Crone. I want to share some of my deepest, most profound thoughts with you in hopes that it gives you a space and a place to look within and to maybe find some deep, profound learning within you. So as I get older, I realize more than anything else, I want peace. I want to create bonds that are strong and honest and that have a vein of integrity woven throughout. I want relationships that are drama free. I want people in my life that support deep thinking, honest connection and truths. The kind of truths that may not be globally understood or even politically correct, but are able to be spoken from the heart with a sincere desire to understand. I want fragile relationships to fall away. I want the stuff that is deep, thought provoking and filled with acceptance to flourish. I want to nurture my garden with tears of joy and forgiveness. I want to feel comfortable walking in my truth, to wear what I want to wear, to believe what I want to believe, and to allow for growth and grace to accompany every breath I take. I don't want ill will to pave my path. I don't want bitterness or anger or awkwardness to rear its head when I see anyone. I don't want to walk on pins and needles and wonder, where do I stand? I don't want to wonder, are we on speaking terms today? Are we friendly? Are we paying it cool? I don't want to wonder what's happening behind my back. Every day I nurture and feed what grows in my heart. Gone are the days of drama and chaos. Without notice, I wake up and I am living in the energy of the crone. The magical energy of wisdom and earned experience. Gone are the days where gossip flowed through my veins and made my heart race. Enter the days where warm breezes flow and birds chirp to inform my soul. I still love my coveted cup of coffee, a good thunderstorm, and a beautiful Hallmark Christmas movie. Yes, pieces of the old me are still there. I carry with me the wounds of past choices, of my ancestors, and even the decisions I didn't make. But somehow they seem so far gone that I really give, rarely give thought to what was, but rather I see them as stepping stones to what is, I guess. You could call this the crone's perspective. I've learned that it's not always easy keeping the peace and it's not always about keeping the peace. Most times it's about creating the peace. It's about confronting things head on. It's about asking really good questions, deep questions. It's about listening. It's about keeping my overly reactive actions and opinions to myself. It's about channeling that energy into passion and using it to be of service to make a difference by speaking out. It's about not letting stuff be brushed under the rug. It's about confronting with love and compassion what stands between us. It's about not going to bed angry or waking up miserable. It's about approaching every single person and situation with kindness. It's about living my understanding of oneness. It's about saying I'm sorry. It's about being mature. It's about crying to release and laughing until you cry. It's about knowing boundaries and sticking to them even when it hurts because it's not the conditioning you knew. 
And at this point in my life, it's about grieving what once was and doing it with love, integrity, and compassion. It's about releasing the prisoner you held hostage with blame. Some days I think, God, what a mess I am. But it is in that beautiful space of imperfection and messiness that I get to create who I am to become. No matter what goes on around me, no matter what anyone else is doing, saying, or being, I choose peace. I want peace. I am peace. May your life be filled with peace.